This is DNN, Donut News Network. I'm Angry Cops, AC, and I'll be your host for this evening's events. Tonight we bring you breaking news out of Washington, D.C., where the Naming Commission has notified U.S. officials that it will be officially changing the names of several U.S. Army posts along with a naval ship and Coast Guard cutter. We're cutting live to our infield reporter, Angry Cops. AC, can you bring us up to date? Thanks, AC. The namingcommission.org has stated it is time that we change the names of numerous military posts, a naval ship, and a Coast Guard cutter because they were named after Confederate soldiers who voluntarily joined the Confederate Army during the United States Civil War. Some of these posts include Fort Hood, Fort Benning, Fort Polk, and the USS Maury, along with a cutter from the Coast Guard that, let's be honest, nobody really cares about. Thank God they're changing Fort Hood's name, although it has certainly lived up to its reputation. <sighs> More bodies stacked up in that place in the east side of Chicago. However, I don't think a name change will help much. Agreed, AC. It's a lot like the Redskins changing their names to the Washington football team. The Cleveland Indians changing their name to the Guardians. Bruce Jenner changing his name to Caitlyn. We know who you really are, and a name change isn't pulling the wool over anybody else's eyes. However, I am surprised at one of the name changes. And what would that be? The USS Maury. Although controversial, many Americans find that name to be a positive symbol of freedom. I mean, I can't help but get excited every time I hear the phrase, you are not the father. AC, let me tell you, I jump up and down and dance with the guy on the screen almost every time. I'm not sure that that's entirely accurate. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Well, agree to disagree. We take a short commercial break for a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Tim Kennedy, and I saved a whole bunch of Afghan special forces that assisted us, the United States, in Afghanistan. But there's one thing I need you to save right now. Your balls by purchasing the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 Performance Package. That's right, it comes with the Lawnmower 4.0, some ball cleansers and deodorizers. Heck, there's even a special gift for you, but you've gotta use the link below. Don't let your ball fro be as crowded as Abby Gate. Ooh, too soon. But sometimes us special forces must travel light. So I bring in a nose trimmer, the weed whacker, and the shears. The basic amenities that I need while I'm traveling around saving the world and Afghans. <laughs> So if you want your balls to look like your fantastic Captain Morgan facial hair, get the Lawnmower 4.0, the Performance Package, or any of the other doodads that come along at Manscaped.com. <laughs> you can get 20% off if you use the link below. Semper Fidelis. Shit, what did the Special Forces guy say? Something Liberty. Yeah! Welcome back. AC, I'm told that we've had an interesting development in the name change story. Could you please fill us in? AC, new name suggestions have come flooding in to the namingcommission.org. The actual name of the commission that will be renaming some of these posts and naval ships is the namingcommission.org. Although there has been a multitude of name suggestions that have come flooding in over the past several days, there are already a few front runners. And are you able to share some of those top tier names with us today? Yes, AC, I received a list of some front runners. Uh, a large number of these front runners are from the Nuts family. We have Ligma Nuts, Sugma Nuts, Munchma Nuts, Eatma Nuts, and Bofides Nuts. From World War I, suggestions are Adolf Oliver Nipple, uh, Brooke and Rubbers, Dixon B. Tweener Legs, and Willie B. Hardigan. From World War II, Andy Feltersnatch, uh, Daryl B. Payne, E. Norma Scock, Wilma Fingerdew. And from the Vietnam and Korean conflicts, we have An Yanese, uh, Dang Lin Wang, uh, Maya Buttreeks, Lon Moore, and Ernest Jaculate. What? The e Jaculate? Sorry, it's just E Jaculate. What an outstanding list of American heroes. If you have a suggestion for The Naming Commission, feel free to visit their website, thenamingcommission.org, for your submission. And on that note, see you next time, weirdos. 
Why is everybody laughing? Really? Really? Who gave me this list? These are real suggestions? Come on! Proofread, people! Proofread! I'm looking stupid! Fucking... Enormous scock! Dicks in between her legs? Fucking... Who thought of Adolf Oliver nipple?